What's this? Third is. Here, you. Come on. Gav will be waiting for us. Get your stuff together. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. But we both know that... No buts about it.
Welcome, Toggle. further now. Yeah. 
Where is it, boy? After him! Don't let him escape! Gaff! Who goes there? This one's a deserter! Take his head! Out of my way! You made your choice! Situation. You're late. Get in trouble. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Shit. 
shit! <sighs> Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. That's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground. Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. <laughs> but we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. to where it all began. He must be stopped.
Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. A moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest, and that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar, you say? Clive. So it would seem. That sounds... painful. Let's get this fixed before someone gets... then it really is you it is Clive you're alive so are you I still can't believe it Are your wounds healed? Yes. Taya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke, and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate?
It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Glyph. When I think back to that night, Man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We've a long journey ahead of us. We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. Make it quick. So, will it be? No scratches, all right? Anything else? Can I see I'm busy here? Yeah? Saying for you, dear. No scratches, all right? Not my best work, but it'll do. Anything else? You! Newcomer! I need help! What's the matter? 
It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you, will you go and check? I have to know. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> more than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, uh, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. Your wounds are healed right enough, but I'd still suggest you rest. We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. Their bunks are made up. I can <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? Ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. Oh, meal. How long has it been? Enough teams to follow every lead. food I was hoping it might be well doesn't this look fine thank you lad you're new aren't you Kenneth's running you ragged already I expect the old rascal well he did say he'd give me something for my trouble <laughs> and so he should we're not slaves anymore well met lad and keep up the good work Mm. Kenneth is a miracle worker. Yeah. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. You left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid... 
took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew, and a mighty fine one at that. than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. That's the last one, eh? I'd better let Kenneth know. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but... men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. That's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company. I am a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. I have quite the find for you today.
wish to study the tomes? Did you learn everything you needed? Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Get this to Jeffrey, was it? Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. This be enough. This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds oh. ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to. That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know that you don't come here for conversation. It'd better I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Off you go, then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. 
You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady? Ready. Rosaria, it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. to you. We should press on. That's it at the Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Look at it, it's
They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority.
Oi! Stop and give me an hand. Here, you couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was funny late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there quick, mind. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then, and don't go taking any detours on the way. Yeah! 
Martha's rest. the stable master I was asked to deliver this to you this is for me right enough not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me though where's that fool of a peddler got to he couldn't come himself his cart surrounded by wild chocobos huh. sounds about right I'll have it full of geese all greens no doubt Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizelle Greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. and find out, shall we? Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a Stratton lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me.
Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? The Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. Avoid blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job, and he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. Goes to East Pool. Here's the gate. Then that must be the ladder. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Get away from me! What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. There he is. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but uh, it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away.
Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. And she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? Sore from its scabbard. What are you after? obliged that all is it it was good on it ah you're back what happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the Founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They had nothing to eat in the North, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. get you a drink or anything while you wait flagon of imperial gold perhaps tastes like swill but it'll slake a thirst no thank you i prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here yes there were more of them when we were young far more is this the empire's doing have they been sent away to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? 
Mom, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The Abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. <laughs> 